Good afternoon INFPs, the name is Eric Dorr and today I want to talk about the flow code and how INFPs can find flow and inner peace and that inner state of bliss in the rat race. Because you know, we're all living in a society that praises achievement, accomplishment, credentials, status and worth. We're all trying to prove ourselves in uh, this civilization, trying to make our own worth to prove to society that we have value. But then I think it's positive, then I think you should have gratitude, INFP, that you have introverted feeling as your dominant function. I think as an INFP, I think you should be grateful to know that the dominant part of your nature, the strongest part of your nature is kind, is self-forgiving, is honest, is trusting, and is peaceful and inherently accepting. The part of you that is introverted feeling is and always will accept you for you the way you are. It will accept and see your worth and your value as you are because you are who you are. It will praise your honesty and it will praise you every time you are honest. It will praise your kindness every time that you are kind. It will praise your generosity, your goodness, your peace and the energy and the positive example that you set out to she show the world. I know that many INFPs get caught up in the cycle of status, of searching, of proving yourself in the rat race, of becoming accomplished, of getting a higher salary, of getting that promotion, of making those achievements, of proving that you have value as an artist or creator, of showing your worth and your inner soul and having it accepted by society. But know that any money that you make, any promotion that you achieve, any status that you attain, you will treasure as if it was trash. Any money you will spend, any achievement you'll forget, any accomplishment that you have, you will let pass by you. Perhaps you'll smile for a day and then the next day you'll go on as if nothing had happened. No, the energy and the flow and the joy that you'll find, instead you will find in those moments that you prove that you are a good person, in those moments that you showed integrity, in those moments that you stood up for yourself, in those moments that you did what was right. As an INFP, treasure that you ultimately value your values above all. You value your honesty and your positive example above anything else. Treasure and accept that part of yourself and know that this is what intrinsically motivates me. This is what gives me joy. While my status and my success might bring peace to my family or might bring pride to my boss or might bring a bonus to my company's investors, understand that what brings out value to you is what you value alone. So introverted feeling is the function that will give you and put you in a state of flow and the more you can treasure and validate this function in yourself and the more you can accept this part of yourself, the greater the flow you will feel. And so instead of searching for power and success outwardly, instead of trying to keep yourself busy, working yourself to death every day, trying to prove yourself in the rat race, trying to gain accomplishment, trying to gain credibility, trying to prove that you're not lazy, trying to prove that you don't procrastinate, trying to prove that you are and can be successful. Spend your time trying to find inner peace. Go within yourself and listen to your own inner voice. Go outside into nature and try to find yourself in a tree or in the river or in the people that you see pass you by. Go outside and see in other people what you have within yourself. See and find good people with good hearts, with bright minds, people who challenge and stimulate you, people who make you feel warmed, a warmth that you also carry within yourself. Of course, you can and you should, if you want to, strive for accomplishment. You can strive for accomplishment. I'm not completely dismissing the desire for success or the desire to be or make something out of yourself. I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. I'm saying it is a thing. 
and it's only a thing, it's only a tool, it's only a path. This tool, it might help you put food on your table, it might help you pay your rent, but that is all that it will help you with, it will not help you with inner peace. And so understand this about yourself, understand what will put you towards inner peace, what will put you towards contentment, and what will put you towards flow, and understand what will put food on your table, your work, those 40 hours you put every week to your boss are to put food on your table alone. The things you do for society, you don't do for status, you don't do for accomplishment, you don't do for success. You do because it's a tool and because it's a tool alone. Understand as well when you do these things, your need to do things your own way. And so understand that when you approach work, when you approach success, you don't need to do so with a competitive mindset. You don't need to go into work like everyone else, stressed, anxious, worried about not getting the deal, of not proving yourself, of not getting improvement, approval or praise. Understand that these things will do nothing for you and instead go into work and go into your career with your own sense of inner peace and inner bliss. Go into every business meeting with that sense of joy and with that smile and with that inner sense of contentment that you carry within. Go into work and go into the things you do and do so modestly and peacefully, focusing on and trusting in yourself and your own capacity and your own worth. Know your own worth and know your own value and you need not worry about losing your job or about losing your place in society. Find a way to be and live honestly with that at your workplace and with your co-workers, with your friends, in your relationship to others and to yourself. Note this, that you'll find that the more you are yourself, the more of a positive role model and example you become to others. Know that other people, your boss, your family, your co-worker, will start to accept you for who you are. Note this, that we try to bargain only with those that are weak in their resolve. Note this, that we accept those that are strong in who they are. When you are strong in who you are, and when you are accepting it for yourself, and when people know that you are the way you are, they will no longer carry resentment towards you. Just as we cannot be upset with a rock for being a rock or with a river for flooding, we cannot be upset with a person who is true to themselves, who is true to their nature and who is strong in their nature. We cannot compromise with the wind or with the weather. and We cannot compromise with an individual who believes in and trusts in the integrity of self. So. Notice that this integrity and this peace and this generosity and this honesty and this integrity and all these qualities that you carry within yourself also become inspiring for your boss and for your co-workers and for your peers. Notice that people will find respect for who you are. Notice that people will carry understanding and acceptance and love towards you for being who you are. Notice that people you have business dealings with will trust you when you give a prize and will expect and understand that you are authentic and that you are true in your intentions and that you're not holding or withholding anything. Note this how this makes people seek you out. Note this how this makes people come to you for advice. Note this that the qualities that you carry will have value to some but not all. Not everyone has to understand you, not everyone has to agree with you and not everyone has to value you. Not every workplace, not every boss needs to see your merit or needs to see your value or your accomplishment. And notice then that any rejection that you will face will only be a redirection towards what you really meant to do. Notice that not every place, not every city, not every company is your tribe or is where you are meant to be. Don't try to bargain with your environment or don't try to mold or shape yourself into or try to fit into the world as it is. Instead, Try to find a place that suits you, a place where you can thrive. When you come to an environment, when you come to a workplace, set boundaries, speak out for yourself. Let them know your needs early. Don't get into the trap of trying to please them immediately, compromising every minute of your day, every hour of your day, every year of your life. Instead, let them know early what you need in order to thrive and to succeed. 
Let them know what will put you in a state of flow. Let them know what will give you energy. Let them know what tasks will motivate you. Let them know how breaks and vacation days and hours and uh, what kind of uh, situation or setup that you want at your work in order to feel good and refreshed and at peace with what you do. Learn to speak up about these things and to talk about them with your boss and note this when you are able to be true to yourself and when you're able to create an environment that is accepting of you, that you do better. When you try to fit in a place where you don't fit, you'll constantly feel yourself cutting at the edge of the puzzle. You're constantly trying to hammer yourself in. You're constantly trying to mold yourself, but you won't budge. No matter how many times you try to compromise yourself, no matter how many times you say yes, even though you meant no, you'll find that you keep returning to the same shape. No matter how many times you tell yourself, I should be like this, or I should be like that, notice how you'll keep coming back to yourself, like you can't escape. Yes, there is no escaping from the self. There is no escaping from who you are. No matter what you do to yourself, no matter how cruel you are toward yourself, you'll always come back to yourself and you will always be there. You don't create yourself, you don't create your values, you don't create your meaning, you don't tell yourself that something is meaningful and then it becomes meaningful, it was meaningful, it was meaningful before it was meaningful, before you even knew it was there. You knew and know yourself and your meaning and your worth when you experience it firsthand. And so you cannot be taught or told what to be or how to be. People, society, school cannot tell you who to be or what to do. Those are the answers that you have to find within yourself. So find your inner flow state, find inner bliss, find your inner peace in yourself, not in the advice of other people. And try not to get insecure when other people choose differently. Some find their inner peace and their nirvana or their ascension in work and some find it in themselves. You find it within yourself. Go out and uh, stay true to yourself and also stay accepting of others, those who choose differently. Don't carry resentment towards those that are different from you. Don't become insecure or envious of those that have made other choices. Stay content with the choices that you made and trust that as long as you make your own choices, it's all going to work out. Know that as long as you stay true to yourself, you're always going to be true. And know that every time you compromise yourself and every time you get on another person's path or every time you try to mold yourself to another person, you lose the things that make you special and you lose your chance to thrive and to succeed where you are meant to thrive, where you are meant to succeed.